Hi, Dr. Robinson here with another tech lesson today, and we're going to be going over the scratch pad in the focus. The scratch pad enables you to create and save notes, uh, and it has a tiny little micro SD card on the left hand side, right by the power button and by the USB. I actually have that all connected up right now. So the micro it SD is on the left hand side right by the power button and by the USB. I have my USB plugged in today because I'm going to show you how you can go to your computer, actually access the SD card and load books and other materials to it. We're going to load a BRF. You have to load a BRF to it. And then of course you, you can just read it and hit your panning button to move through your document. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into our scratch pad right now. Uh, my JAWS is on, so of course it's focused in on my computer, and I need to switch to the uh, scratch pad, which is your configuration menu, which is between one and four, and I'm going to do an N and the configuration menu. Now, what I'm going to tell you is uh, I popped right into an empty uh, file. Every once in a while, I'll actually pop to the date first, and then I just have to do the N and the menu again, and I pop to a, an empty uh, file. So um, I'm just gonna quickly braille something here. So I've got, this is cool. Uh, and so you can quickly take notes on this. Uh, you're, you're in class, you're doing writing on your computer, you need to quickly go in so you can do B in space to switch back and forth uh, between your scratch pad and actually as the braille display reads. To get out of it, I'm going to do X and my right shift button, which is directly under my space bar. So I'm going to do X and space bar and get right out. So that gets me right out of the scratch pad. Let's go back into it. Now I exited scratch pad. I did not put it into the background. So I'm going to hit N with my menu to go into my scratch pad. And my scratch pad is actually showing me the date, and every once in a while that occurs. It shows me the date instead of going directly into an empty file. It's no big deal. I just do the whole command again. And I'm gonna tell you, sometimes I actually have to sit on the menu uh, bar before I do my N and pop it back up, and I'm into an empty file. Uh, okay, so let's go through our other options at this point. Of course, as I showed you before, you can just start brailing. But let's go through all the different options available to you. So hit your menu bar. And the first one is file. Go ahead and go down to your rocker. There's different ways to select this. Uh, if I wanna go into that, of course, I hit my router key, but I'm gonna show you how to move through your menu using your rocker. I'm just gonna press it down and you go into uh, edit. And of course, you're gonna go into export and you go into help. I hit it again, I'm back into file and I wanna uh, hit the items in file. So I'm just gonna use my router button. I could use dot a also if I wanted to, but I'm gonna do my router button. And then I get the options of new, I'm gonna hit my rocker down and I've got open and I have edit and I have save and I have save as and then I have delete and then I have exit. So you can exit that way also instead of just doing X and your shift key. So here, rocker bar and, I'm, and when I download this book, I'm actually going to go back to open. Now I already have something uploaded here in a BRF so I'm just gonna hit my router button to open this item. And I only have one item and it immediately comes up what it is and I go ahead and start reading this. And I hit open and it asks me, do I wanna open this in my books or do I wanna open this in notes? Well, I know I loaded this to my books. So I need to go to books, hit my router key and open books. There is my file, hit my down arrow on the down on the rocker and here is my book. So I can go ahead and just start reading this. Now, when you're in Scratchpad, you do not have the option of auto read and auto read are the two selector buttons together, which will automatically progress your braille display. And of course you can speed it up by hitting your right uh, selector button, slow it down by hitting your left. But that is how you get into your book. Now, let me go to my computer and let me show you how you're actually going to download that. Now this time, I'm going to exit a different way. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my menu and I'm gonna go right back to my file. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my router key and I'm gonna rock up because I know if I go up the menu, I pop immediately to exit and I'm gonna press 
yes on that basically by hitting my router key and it completely exits me out and I'm back to my blank cursor. So now I can go ahead and begin another file. Let's go ahead and exit completely out of my scratchpad X with right selector. And I'm out and I'm back to my computer. Now let's go to the computer and we're going to go ahead and download something directly to this. Before I do that, make sure your USB cable is connected. You're going to go to your left panning button and you're going to go to your home button and you're going to hold that down until it completely goes off. You need to access your computer and this at the same time, wait for it, and it completely goes out. So wait until it completely goes down and your braille is completely empty. Now it's ready to access the SD card and load files to it from your computer. Default backslash items new multi select list box not and selected here size it is. backslash 26 slash 2018 I'm going to hush them up. So, what you want to do is you want to select the FSI. You have to go into several subfolders. Space side. So, select it with spacebar and hit enter, enter. and open. Default backslash size items new multi select list box not selected focus five. Okay, so enter. focus five next open. So, hit your spacebar. Space bar, focus select. five. Select. And open, enter. enter to open. G pull back slash side back slash focus five. Okay. Items. And then you have two items, scratch pad and your system. I want you to just hit space bar on your scratch pad because that's where space, we want to save it. Pad. And you hit enter, enter. and open. G pull back slash side back slash okay. Once again, you have two folders. We've been, gone over this books and notes. I'm going to hit space bar on books. Space books. And I'm going to hit enter and open. Enter. G pull back slash side back slash focus five back slash scratch pad. Okay. And I have already moved Aubrey's sentences .brf. Remember, it has to be a .brf file. So all you have to do is go find your .br file. You select it, you copy it, you come back to your G, and you just paste it. Really easy. And I believe my Windows E. I'm going to go back to my Windows file explorer. E. File explorer. Items new list box read only to move to an item. Press the arrow key. Just so you can quickly see how this is. A recent files expanded. Okay. Aubrey sentence dot brf. Two slash. There it is. And as all I did was control C. Copy. And I alt tab back to my G drive. Default backslash side backslash focus five backslash. Okay. And I paste control paste V. It. And of selected course, Aubrey sentence dot brf. Aubrey sent now I have two. Well, I don't want two. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my delete key and get rid of it. Delete file dialog. Are you sure you want yes, to confirm the sure. space? G pull back slash So back. that's how also it is very easy to keep your scratch pad very clean from your SD, but of course you have the delete option on your scratch pad also. Okay, I am done with this, so I'm gonna clear out of it. File explorer, items new list box read only to move to an item, press the arrow keys. Items new multi four, items new multi alt four, G pull back alt four, G pull alt four, items new multi alt four. Using and the then hit my start key, type in PC, PC, PC web presenter. Open my PC. This PC, items new multi select list box, folders expanded. I'm going to go ahead and go down to my G drive so I can eject it. Devices and drives expanded. I, I, with three, date, DB, USB drive. There's left, my G drive. I'm going to hit my applications key and eject. Applications, context menu, the navigate, press up or down arrow. J, leaving menus. This PC, items new multi select list box, devices and drives expanded. USB drive left parent, G colon right parent, 0%, okay. 7.20. And safe to remove, so I'm going to go ahead and Alt F4. Alt F4. And beautiful. And now we're going to go back to the focus. That's how easy it is to move those files. So here we are back on the focus. Let's go ahead and get off of my computer and we're going to go right into our scratch pad. So N and configuration menu. So once again, if you get a calendar on here, just go ahead and do it again. And sometimes, like I said, I have to hit my configuration before I hit my N and then I let both of them go and release. And here I am, I'm going to hit my menu bar, and I've got file, let's hit my rocker to open, there's edit, export, help, oh that's right, file, I need to hit my router key on that, and I've got new, I've got open, that's what I want, hit my router key, I want to select my file, I do, so I'm going to hit my router key, Select file. I'm going to hit my rocker down. There's notes. I know I need to go to books. There's books. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. There's my file. I hit my down arrow and there is my file to read. And I can just hit my panning and move through. 
So that is how you do your scratch pad. Uh, you need to write down some information such as a phone number or email, or you're in class, you need to make notes for something you just remembered that you need to do at home. You can quickly go between your uh, work that you're actively using on your computer and your scratch pad. So I've got Word up right Okay, let's quickly go back to the computer and show how you can quickly switch between working on the computer and your scratch pad. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly braille something in on my document as I am in class. I'm just going to pretend I'm in class and need to do something. Dot six, T H sign, this, I, S, is, A, A, D, O, Z, U, dot five, six, T, document. Okay, so this is a document, so you get the idea, and of course it reads out beautifully on the Braille display. So you think of that item that you need to go ahead and make notes about. Now when I go into the scratch pad, you're not going to hear it, but it will come out on my Braille display. So I'm going to do N, I'm going to hit my menu, remembering my menu bar is between dots 1 and 4. So I'm going to do N and my configuration menu, and immediately jumps me into, I see help here. Sometimes it actually jumps you directly into your uh, an, into an empty document, but I have been using this all morning. So I'm just going to hit my rocker bars, and it's just going to move me through. And of course, I've got file, edit, and all the other options, but I'm just going to stop at file. I'm going to take my router key, and I'm going to open my file, and it says new, and I want a new, so I can go ahead and just hit my router button, and it immediately opens to my last notes. So it's going to ask me if I want to save that last note that I just wrote on. Uh, and then, of course, that was before this video. And I'm going to just hit N for no. And I'm back to a blank uh, line or a blank part of my scratch pad. And just so you know, under your file, you do have save and save as also, as well as exit. Uh, and you can quickly go through those using your rocker keys. Uh, so now I'm just going to type out something easy about, you know, I need to eat at five o'clock, something really easy like that. Okay, so I've made that uh, notation in my scratch pad, and now I want to go back to my document and just place it in the background. What's nice is it happens to be B. Now it's B and menu, and I'm going to tell you every once in a while, I actually have to do the menu and then B or the letter uh, quickly right after it. Sometimes I have to do that with N also. Uh, so that's just something I've kind of noticed. Uh, there's other kids who can directly hit all of those keys at the same time, but I'm just telling you there's some little nuances there. So I'm going to go ahead and do my menu B at the same time, and it pops me right back to this is a document. Uh, so I can go ahead and continue brailing out my work. Uh, just really nice. Okay, so last note on the Focus Scratch Pad. There are a lot more features. I just wanted to give you uh, the major ones so you can understand how to easily get in and get out and also how to access the SD microcard so you can go ahead and put BRF files on it. Okay, hope that helps. Talk to you later.